I just wasted an hour going to an auto repair shop for a problem that wasn't really a problem. So I'm going to tell you exactly what that is so that you can be cautioned in case you ever encounter what I encountered. So stay tuned for that. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got your mind Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my life living in an RV. So I was leaving my camp this morning and pulled out onto the road, got to my first stop and I hear grinding. <laughs> I'm not good at sound effects. My front brakes are grinding. And I know, I know you guys are like, well, yeah, that means your brake pads need to be replaced. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> so that's why I want to share this story with you. But before I do, do me a favor. If you enjoy my videos, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And just because you've been around a while and you think you're subscribed, do me a favor and double check because YouTube mysteriously unsubscribes people. Make sure you click that bell to be notified when I put out new videos so you never miss a thing. I keep seeing the same questions over and over again for videos that I have made so make sure you click that bell so you don't miss anything and uh, be sure to like and comment so this morning I'm leaving camp and like I said my brakes are grinding and I just had my brakes changed two weeks ago I had a complete front brake job everything rotors calipers everything was replaced just two weeks ago and so you can imagine my like freaking out why the heck are my brakes grinding and they not a little squeaking I'm talking grinding bad so I called the auto repair shop that did the brakes and I said my brakes are grinding and he's like all right bring it in by the time I got there they weren't grinding anymore so here is what I've learned and I want to share this with you this humid weather that I've been living in, a lot of rain, a lot of mud on the roads that I drive on here, causes even brand new rotors to get a layer of rust within two weeks because I was just sitting for like 10 days probably. I was just sitting and they showed me and I knew they were brand new rotors because I saw the old ones uh, when they changed them and there's a little bit of rust on them. So if you're in humid weather, if you're driving on dirt roads, it, you might, sometimes you get a rock in them. I had a rock in my brake a couple years ago too, but this is a little different. You actually get a layer of rust and yes, you can get a layer of rust on your rotors in two weeks if you're in really humid, hot, uh, wet weather. So that's what it was. They, they pulled it into the shop. They checked the brakes. They checked my rear brakes too, even though they did that two weeks ago and my rear brakes are at 50%, but, uh, they checked everything. I said, are you sure it's not a caliper issue? Like something didn't happen with the caliper and they looked at him and they said no everything is fine and they drove it around and said it's they're they're not grinding and I was like yeah you know they were really really grinding bad when they were cold but once uh I was driving a while it went away and sure enough I've been driving all day uh it's this is real time actually Thursday August 10th or whatever yeah real time this really happened to me today and I'm turning on the camera and telling you about it before I settle down I just got into my camp <sighs> life as an RVer and I thought it was boring <laughs> someone I I I hear I get a lot of advice and a lot of people tell me oh you're not really feeling this you're not really feeling that which you know whatever but someone actually said maybe you're feeling restless and I think that's more appropriate than boring because bored I mean I mean, I got too much going on really to be bored, but I couldn't think of a better word, but I think restless is more like it. So yeah, n never a dull moment in RV life, but I wanted to share that with you in case you ever experience that. Your brakes might sound like they're grinding, but as long as it goes away after you're driving around for about an hour, most likely it's not a problem. Unless of course you do need new brake pads. The other things that might cause it are a uh, heavy load. So if for whatever reason, reason you've got a van and you've got a super heavy load for some reason you're transporting 25 people in your van or whatever that can also cause them to grind and not necessarily mean that you need new brake pads another thing is braking too hard if you're braking really really hard you might hear a grinding noise and in fact on the way to the auto repair shop, I was testing them because they, they weren't grinding anymore. And so I just slammed on my brakes right before I got there and they grinded. Ground, 
grinding. I had a grinding noise. So that's another reason they might sound like they're grinding. But of course, it's just a good idea. I've been living in this RV for what, six years, five and a half years now. I have a good feel for when I need I mean, I keep track of things, you know, so I, I knew I needed new front brakes. So I went in and sure, sure enough, I needed new front brakes. And so they redid everything. And on such a heavy vehicle as this, and I've been actually thinking lately, um, I'm having second opinion with this shop and they don't do transmissions, but they said, I've got a transmission issue. Um, la, 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 la. I'm not thinking about that right now. <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah, it's got like a whining noise even that I've been hearing for a while. I'm not even going to talk about that right now. But so they, what was the point I was making? They were, they drove it around and they didn't hear the grinding. And uh, so it got better. And, uh, you know, and I, I knew that I needed brakes. I forgot. Oh yeah, the heavy vehicle. So because I think I might be overweight. Well, not me. <laughs> I mean, I am. <laughs> But I think my vehicle might also be overweight. I've never had it weighed ever, 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 ever. And I think it's like 10,000 gross capacity. And I wonder if I'm over that. But anyway, with a heavy vehicle, you put a lot of wear and tear on your front brakes. And I think even if you don't wear your pads down to the rotors, I think it's a good idea probably because they get warped and things like that. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and replace the rotors. And I know you're going to ask, and I know people are going to say I got ripped off again, but you know what? Unless you're out here living on the road, living in a class CRV, needing to get work done uh, when you're traveling and having to rely on shops, reviews online. This is the second time I went to this shop. I, I went to this shop last year to get an oil change and uh, to look at something else. I can't remember, but uh, they seemed good. They seemed reliable, but it cost me $1,400 for front brakes. So you want to talk about an emergency fund? Remember how much do I always say you need for an emergency fund? $5,000. I have blown through $5,000 since uh, the work that I, more than 5,000 if I add it up I don't know, what was it, 4047 I don't remember how much it was now. But I've, I've spent over $5,000 just on troubleshooting the issue that I had in Las Vegas. And I'll put links to that video at the end and in the video description if you don't know what that was all about. Um, that mechanic said it sounded like the tr transmission. These guys, I told them what's been going on because it still doesn't feel like it's running quite right. And it's got the, the whizzing, yeah you can hear the transmission. And so they said it can break next week. It can break next year. And, uh, <laughs> I just blew through $5,000 on other stuff. So, you know, it, it's just the way it happens. Sometimes I, what are you going to do? Um, right now parts are high, labor is high. Everything is, is a lot higher. So I do notice that I'm paying even more than I normally do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, you know, I could go to another city 60 miles away to try to find somebody else to work on my RV. Um, but every th everybody that I have been talking to, at least in Vegas, everybody was about the same. So just a word of caution. I wanted to share that with you. My experience today with the brakes that, you know, don't panic if you hear your brakes do that, especially if you're in humid weather or on muddy roads or, um, you know, you might have a little rust or uh, salt from winter roads if you've been driving in the snow. All of that can cause a grinding sound in your brakes. And as long as it goes away after about an hour of use and you know you don't need new pads yet, you should be fine. But if it goes on any longer than that, you really should take it into a shop and have them checked out. So thank you all so much for being here. Uh, tune in on Tuesday. I'm going to do a special video on Tuesday. I think it's going to be a really good video with a lot of really good information. And I'm going to be introducing a new partner, a really exciting new partner uh, with a great deal for you guys. I mean, one of the best deals I have ever brought you through one of my partners. So you're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be out Tuesday morning before noon Eastern time. And, uh, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to have some really good tips for you as well as, like I said, a really, really great deal. So, all right. Thank you all so much for being here. I think that's it. I think that's all I have for you. I got to eat some dinner and finish getting set up. 
back there. I do have my Starlink up. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment below, hit the thumbs up, share this video if you think it's helpful. And I will see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon. It's been a very long travel day, huh? And a lot of rain. It rained a lot today, didn't it? Are you okay? Are you okay? There's bugs. There's bugs. There's bugs, huh? There's bugs. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Camp. <laughs>